Hey guys, this is Andreas from Pokeballs.com and in this video I'm going to show you how you can circumvent a problem with some applications uh, whose definition of a shortcut actually only includes applications and nothing else. So you might ask what's the alternative to just applications? Well, I'm going to show you that first in Go Launcher which supports several types of shortcuts. Um, so if I go in to add something new here, you can see that uh, the far left one is called Apps, which is pretty self-explanatory, that just adds more application shortcuts. But then over here we have something called Shortcuts. Uh, and clicking that brings up a list of special shortcuts that some of my installed apps come with. Uh, these shortcuts sort of work like application shortcuts but instead of opening the application they do something special for instance this one for drop sync um, syncs drop syncs this one for tasker lets you run a task this one for tesla led uh, lets you turn on and off the light widget locker to lock um, the screen and um, basically just things like that so basically they link to features inside an app instead of the apps themselves so that's a very nice feature to have and sometimes you want to use those shortcuts instead of uh, application shortcuts but then the problems start piling up when you get apps like um, sorry that's the wrong one this widget called circle launcher which despite the name isn't a launcher it's actually a widget sort of like a folder widget shaped like a circle so um, this one allows you to select apps that you want as part of your circle launcher uh, but this doesn't allow you to select shortcuts uh, it allows you to switch to contacts or bookmarks but nothing like uh, the drop sync sync now or anything like that so how do you get this uh, sort of outdated app to allow you to link to uh, those special shortcuts well you need a few things you need at the very least you need tasker and the free plugin for tasker called uh, the app factory which is an official sort of add-on that allows you to export apps. Um, I also uh, suggest that you download Auto Shortcut because that's going to make this easier than using Tasker's built-in system. So basically what you want to do is create a new task. Uh, let's call this uh, Sync now just because that's the one I'm going to use. Um, click OK and then there are at least two different ways you can do this you can you can try to use taskers built-in load app um, feature and then make sure that this button uh, on the bottom here is clicked on so that you actually see everything and not just um, applications but this one is quite messy, just basically link, um, shows everything without... I actually don't even think it shows any, everything because, because I can't find the sync now option. But this has a lot of... Um, if you, you can see it, if I switch between all and just application, that this has a lot of sort of uh, hidden shortcuts as well. However, it doesn't have the one I want and it's also kind of messy. So instead I'm going to go down to Plugin, uh, Auto Shortcut Pro, and then I get this familiar menu from uh, that I also had in Go Launcher. So here I can go down to Sync Now, click OK. Then I'm going to set an icon for my, um, for my uh, task, and I'm actually going to sort of go into application icon and just see if I can't find the icon for the original um, original app drop sync like that uh, so now I basically have a task that does nothing but run drop sync sync now uh, shortcut um, I'm going to long press on it select export 
and then as app and the package name has to be something unique so if you have your own domain it's very common to just use that domain in reverse um, and then just add a package name like sync now at the end this is just to make sure that all apps are 100% unique in terms of how Android sees them um, and we don't need advanced configuration for this one so that's actually all we need uh, exporting the app install it done and then if I go back into uh, circle launcher selected apps I can scroll down to the app I just installed or created and installed um, select that one go out and there I have my special app that let me use a shortcut via an application so it's a bit more trouble than just being able to select it but at least it works in the end so uh, there is one more thing i want to show you because if you're already a tasker user uh, you might want to try to use this to um, run tasker tasks from these difficult applications but the problem is that if you go into Auto Shortcut Pro um, and scroll down to Task Cut, it says the uh, data blocked because you sort of get this loop where a task or task is trying to use a plugin that's trying to uh, access a shortcut to run a task or task. So you sort of get this meta thing or whatever. So how do you do it so that you can run a task or task uh, in a widget or other application that doesn't allow you to select uh, other shortcuts just applications well it's sort of the same thing but it's a bit more complicated because you need to use taskers built in intent system intents are sort of commands that um, you can send to tasker or to any app basically uh, which sort of gives it commands as to what to do so this one is also going to be exported as an app but just going to show you instead of the uh, auto shortcut action we have a send intent action which you find under uh, the miscellaneous category and then send intent and the way you need to configure this is uh, as action you need to write in um, net.english.android.tasker.action underscore task with capital letters just like I have done on my screen here um, categories should be set to none data should say id colon no space just a large number this number was given to me by the tasker developer who helped me get this working I'm not sure if it's if it needs to be this number this many uh, I don't even know yeah you get my point but just use this number it seems to work um, the first extra should be task name task underscore name colon um, and then the name of your task so it's already filled in here it's a task called show p set which is show pop-up settings um, extra should be version number 1.1 I'm pretty sure that should say 1.1 no matter what you do so uh, and finally target should be a broadcast receiver so just make sure that the send intent um, configuration looks exactly like this one uh, except for task name which should be with whatever task you want to run um, and then you go to export it as an app as well and there is one thing you need to do here is you need to check advanced configuration scroll down to extra permissions and you need to type in what it says here it, this is actually 
on the continuous line even though it's split into two so net.english.android.tasks.group permission to run tasks that's the permission you need to include um, when you create your app and then you just create and install your apps which I have already done because this is one of the ones I use uh, and then just as with the other one if you go back into a difficult application like circle launcher I actually have several of these applications um, you can select it right there and in this case this simply displays a scene so even though circle launcher isn't able to use uh, those normal shortcuts I'm able to make it pop up this scene and just to be clear the difference between using this send intent system and just exporting the app that uh, triggers the scene as an application is that the app that was exported from this task only contains this action nothing else because when this sends the intent it sends it back into the the main task or application whereas if you had exported the um, um, task that has the show scene option it would actually bundle not only the scene but all the tasks that the scene refers to uh, and things like that so basically you would export in my case something like 30 different scenes profiles and tasks just by exporting that one show scene one so um, by doing it like uh, I have done here using send intent I can still edit my scene my tasks and stuff like that in tasker without having to export a new app um, to make the changes um, um, also be in the exported version so that's the way to do it uh, it's a bit complicated but there are these applications out there whose definition of a shortcut isn't really um, standard to Android so at least there is a way to get around it.